So if you are trying to set up XBPS SRC for your Void Linux or uh, if you don't know about Void XBPS dash SRC it's a way of installing like uh, Void is having this repository which contains like uh, restricted packages so you can install all these packages inside your system by using XBPS SRC so they are like put in a restricted repository because of uh, licensing issues like proprietary blobs all these things so you can read through that if you want so here you have a section called quick start so all you have to do is you have to use this git clone and you will have the void packages git inside your system so let me navigate like let me copy this first because I may need to use that so the repository was like somewhere around 500 megabytes so depending on your connection it may take some time now I'm going to cd into void packages so I already cloned the repository and I'm going to move inside the directory which I have got after cloning this now control L to clear my screen if I do an LS I'm sorry about these three so you can see we have all these directories and all these things so I'm going to paste which I have copied from the github page or it's just dot slash I'm executing this uh, binary bootstrap so this is having some requirements meanwhile it's installing you can go to the page so this is having some requirements it requires you know bash xpps uh, the specific version or higher you need git in your system and it's like you can read through that if you want about the requirements or like uh, dependencies for using this so the way you install this is using xpps source and you have to specify package space like this package stands for the path of the package and you have to specify the package name so if you are trying to build something like restricted like uh, um, some proprietary software or like uh, if you are trying to build something like um, let me guess discord or something you may need to add this line to the etc conf file you need to allow like xpps allow restricted only then you will be able to build a package using that and then after building that you need to install the package using xpps dash install and you have to specify so let's go back to our terminal so it's doing the bootstrap thing um suppose like i suppose it's going to take some time so i will cut this portion of the video and i'll be back when this is completed so the bootstrap process have been completed and if we do an ls we can see we have this directory called source packages so if we need to install something like if, let's cd into source packages and if i do an ls you can see we have like plenty of packages available so these are like shell scripts so if I need to install something like csh for example all I have to do is xbps dash um, like I have to go back so and do a dot slash uh, xbps src and pkg for package and I can specify csh for example anyways i will cut the portion of this video and i'll be back after this is completed so the installation process like uh, the compilation process have been completed so the way you install things is like if you do an ls you can see we have this directory called host directory so if i do xpps dash install and if i specify dash dash repository host the inside this directory have this binary packages directory and I have to specify the file name like the package name so zsh 
if i do that it's going to permission deny for me because i haven't done like sudo and enter my super user password so it's going to install csh for me locally so that's how you compile packages from xbps source so if i go to host div and if i do an ls you can see we have sources we have the shash directory and you have the bin packages so if i do like a cd bin packages and if i do an ls you can see we have this csh which we have compiled right now as an xpps file so that's how we use xpps dash src and the main thing with this is uh, all these things are like shell scripts so if i cd into source packages and for example if i cd into csh and if i do an ls you can see this template so if i open up uh, this template you can see this is just basic shell script so it's performing the actions inside this shell script so you can see it's grabbing the package from location and doing the post operations which have been specified in this script so if you want you can create your own custom scripts you can follow the same layout if you want all you have to do is like you have to change the dependencies how to change the package name source and configuration settings etc so i hope uh, this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day